Hi, my name is Chris Sexton and welcome to Dialed In. You join me here at Farlow's on Lake One and today we're going to be doing a bit of surface fishing. Now for the last couple of weeks, I've been coming down here having great success. I managed 14 fish last week and 19 fish this week. So I'm going to take you through all the components that I've been using from the Atomic Tackle range. I'm going to look back at the last couple of weeks action. So let's run you through how I set this up. So let's start off with a controller. So I've been using a medium bolt float. So moving on, I've been testing a new Zig and Floater line. I can't say too much about it, but so far, so good. So down to the business end. So I've been using these hooks all through the test period. I've had numerous amount of fish on them and they haven't let me down. And that is the new Stinger hook from Atomic Tackle. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been coming down here and having great success using simple surface tactics. So mainly fishing in the main body of water and I managed 14 fish, topped by three 30 pounders. Moving on to this week, it's all gone a bit crazy. Started off in peg 20, where I caught four fish in the morning. Come the afternoon, they moved off. They didn't move far, but I moved up into peg 25, in which I had a further 14 fish from. At points in the afternoon, we had three nets in the water filled with fish. Some with three, some with two, and some in the retainers. And in the afternoon, I was joined by my good pal Bill, in which we took turns in spawning out the mixers, getting them going and putting the rods out. Bill finished that evening catching 10 fish in a day session, and then I carried on and done another 24 hours myself, resulting in a further 15 fish. And that brings me up to today. So Lee's joined me this morning in peg 25, in which I've done 24 hours in there last night without anything. So this morning we've packed up and we've actually came round to the pads. I had a sneaky feeling they might be in there, and they are. So we've come round here, we've found a group of fish, we've actually put mixes out and we've gotten taken. After a few missed opportunities, we managed to get one in the bag. A typical Farlow scaly banger. After a few pictures, we slipped her back and we're actually going to get some more mixers out there and see if we can try and bag another one. Right, so it's dried up in the shallows. Um, we managed one fish out of here, but we want to try and get on some more. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around the lake, we're going to have a look and see if we can try and bag another one.
I might as well put it on as well. There you are. There you go. Right, so we've just come round to peg 43. And I've literally only just put this rod out. First cast, and we're in. There's literally nothing in this swim whatsoever. And they're out on the surface. Within 30 seconds, bang. So I'm gonna concentrate on getting this fish in. I don't think it's that big, but it's a start. Coming into a new swim. Hooked right in the top lip. This feels like a good one. Right, so we've got another fish on. Didn't take long, and still I've got that one in the net. So all is going good so far. We've been at it all day, trying to get into a swim where a lot of fish are feeding. And yeah, we've got this one on. So hopefully we can get him in, do some pictures. But yeah, I'm gonna concentrate. So it does feel like a good fish. And it is one scaly, scaly banger. But it's caught onto my spawn, spawn line at the moment. Yes, number two in the bag. Right, can I have a quick retuck? Because they are going absolutely crazy out there. They are literally like piranhas. So we are in to another. This is the third fish. Now, if we get this one in, they are going like piranhas out there. This generally feels like a good fish as well. It felt really like the last one. So it's all kicking off. That follows. This is bite number three now. to another Farlow's top on the surface. And they are going mental. All day, we've been struggling to get a bite. We managed a, managed a bite out of the pads. And then they disappeared. And then we up sticks. We come round into peg 43. And they are going crazy out there. So, I'm going to concentrate on getting this fish in. And that is three in the net. What an afternoon. Time to get these fish processed, get them on the mat, get them weighed up and get a few pictures.
Right, so this is the first one out of a mad flurry. We've moved off out of the pads and we've come round into peg 43 and they are going crazy out there. So this is the first one and we've actually got two bigger ones in the retainers and they're much, much bigger than this. So we're just going to do some photos, get her back and get the bigger one. Look at that. This is why we come to Farlow's for these gems. 30 pound bang on, fully scaled. And I've got actually another one in the retainer, a lot bigger than this. Happy days. Gonna get a few snaps, get her back and get out this other one. Look at that, 36 pound off the top on the new Stinger Atomic Hooks. Well, I'll save the biggest till last. It's the last fish for the afternoon. Lee, the cameraman, has got to go, but I'm going to stay on for another 24 hours. What a gem. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of Dialed In. Catch you on the next one.